in Nando's with a veggie wrap Or I'm sitting in Leon, munching a Gobi Whichever one's nearer Vegan, now I see clearer No meat, no cheese, no milk, no eggs What's up Vegan? Whether you've worked from home today or had to go back to work Mondays are always a hard day and especially today when many people have returned from the festive holidays therefore may feel like just eating something quick and a bit naughty and not so healthy I'm here to tell you that's okay In today's video I'm bringing you the top 10 foods that are accidentally vegan There is actually a long long list of popular foods here in the UK that are accidentally vegan but I have narrowed them down to my top 10 based on how surprising they were to me when I found out they were vegan. I hear Clelia may need some help with her cravings and what she can snack on that's similar to her old diet. So hopefully this video helps her. But first, let's see what she got up to yesterday. Today I'm back for Veganuary day three. I could not be bothered to cook today. I decided to order from Wagamama. So I ordered a tofu fire cracker, yasai gyoza, the bang bang cauliflower i will start with the cauliflower i'm not much of a fan of it to be honest but i wanted to try it because someone said i should try and make cauliflower chicken uh, not too sure about that it's not bad it doesn't actually taste like cauliflower a bit spicy i would prefer the cauliflower over the gyoza any day have the firecracker i'm really impressed with um a lot of these kind of like upscale restaurants i guess making vegan versions of their famous dishes because i love guacamoles i really do please don't oh look at all these peppers i don't like peppers that's the tofu it's not bad oh lord it's spicy i don't really like the consistency of this tofu it's very strange compared to everything else that's a bit more solid but yeah this is me checking in i will see you guys Right. That Wagamama's look delicious. You've made me proper jealous, Clelia. I've always been a fan of Wagamama's, both before I went vegan and since being vegan. They were one of the first big chains to offer so many vegan options and a dedicated vegan menu. I haven't tried the new firecracker tofu yet, but I'm hoping to bring it to you guys right here on this channel, along with the new rumored vegan menu for Veganuary 2021. Now, before we go on to the top 10 list, I must remind you of the amazing competition we've got going where you can win 30 pounds delivery credit and a vegan at home flower to get you started on your vegan journey or just to fill yourself with loads of good vegan treats. Here's the details. Competition time. Would you like to win this ultimate vegan hamper and 30 pounds delivery credit? In every daily YouTube video throughout January, there will be a secret word. You must go over to our Instagram at vegan connoisseur like the respective daily video, comment the word as a hashtag and tag one friend you'd like to share the prize with. And of course, make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and following on Instagram. A winner will be randomly selected each day and will be entered into the final draw for the prize with the winner of that announced on Tuesday the 2nd of February. And of course, you can enter each day to increase your chances of winning. So on to the accidental vegan snacks. We'll go from 10 to 1, 10 being the least surprising and 1 being the most surprising. In at number 10 is Marmite. They say you either love it or hate it, but I'm indifferent. I don't mind it at all, but I never go out of my way to buy it. Marmite is rich in B vitamins, so it's actually quite nutritious. However, I wasn't too surprised when I learned it was vegan because there's nothing really about it that makes me think there'd be any animal products in it. At number 9, we have Cadbury Bourneville. I actually really like Cadbury's Bourneville chocolate, and now they've released chocolate fingers in Bourneville, which are a dream and a little bit Moorish. I do find myself of getting through a pack too quickly. But let's be honest, that's just chocolate fingers, isn't it? It didn't surprise me too much initially when I found out it was vegan because it's supposed to be dark chocolate. Even though it's not proper dark chocolate, usually dark chocolate has no milk products in it. Number eight is Starburst. When I first went vegan, I thought all sweets had gelatine in, so I was actually quite surprised to find out that some do not because I used to eat these things all the time as a kid. It turns out that there's actually a lot more sweets from my childhood that are vegan, including round trees fruit pastels which now are a completely vegan recipe. Lotus Biscoff spread. This stuff is incredible. I've had so many variations of Biscoff as a vegan, from cookies, cakes, even milkshakes. You would think it would be in the same category as every other spread of its kind, which usually has dairy products in, but no, this one is accidentally vegan. Pot noodles. Who doesn't secretly love a pot noodle? Not all flavors are suitable for vegans, however, but beef and tomato, Bombay bad boy, sweet and sour, Brazilian barbecue, chili beef, not that I've ever seen that one in the UK, Chinese 
chow mein, piri piri chicken, and sticky rib are. It's really surprising that even flavors that are specifically supposed to taste like meat are accidentally vegan. I think meat eaters are being misled, but I'm not complaining. Guinness. I've never really been a fan of Guinness. The first time I tried it, I remember feeling like it was just a big meal in a glass. It was a bit too filling for me. But I know a lot of people love it and it's totally vegan. However, this hasn't always been the case as it used to be filtered through icing glass, which you may have learned if you watched my Saturday night quiz the other day. Insert plug. Mr. Kipling apple and blackcurrant pies. I used to love Mr. Kipling's before I was vegan. Honestly, Viennese whirls, cherry bakewells, the lot. I used to love it. But I was prepared to sacrifice all of that when I went vegan because typically those cakes are not vegan. Little did I know, after three years of being vegan, that specifically these apple and blackcurrant pies by Mr. Kipling are accidentally vegan. I was so happy. I do wonder why their other products can't be made vegan if the apple and blackcurrant pie is basically a pastry with a filling and so is a cherry bakewell. Who knows? Hopefully we'll see that soon. Oreos. I could not believe these were accidentally vegan. Oreos are so chocolatey and they even have a layer of cream inside. I still do not understand how they're vegan. Just roll pastry. Pastry is another one of those things that you just assume must have egg in. I could not believe it when someone told me that I could get a ready rolled puff pastry and it was vegan. When most other kinds of pastry products out there are just not vegan. And if they are, they've been specifically made to be vegan, not accidentally. So here we are, the one you've all been waiting for. Who tops the list of the most surprising accidentally vegan food? It's bacon rashes. How on earth is a snack that's designed to taste like bacon accidentally vegan? I have found one that has milk in before, but typically the big supermarkets and big brands just make them naturally vegan. That's it for this video. If you're trying out Veganuary, I hope it doesn't seem as scary now when there's a high possibility you can still eat your favorite foods. And if you're already vegan, I hope you feel more informed about eating these foods. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share it. See you tomorrow. Peace. You know you